from now. Oh, eyeshadow down. to do something fun today I'm really excited about. Um, I got this idea from Jenna Marbles. Her and Julian, her boyfriend, did a My Boyfriend Guides Me through a makeup tutorial video and I was like, oh, that would be so much fun. We should try it. A little bit of background. He did my makeup and it was the first time he ever did any glam makeup. He had never done anything like that before, never picked it up. Um, had no idea what he was doing whatsoever, which was okay. So this is the first video on your channel though with uh, the new backdrop system. Yes, so, so we started getting backdrops and we're trying to... We rearranged the whole room so we have room for it now. Yes. So I'm going to explain to you how to do your makeup. Yeah. He found a tutorial. He got to pick one and he already told me who it was and it's Nikki Tutorials and I've never watched... Um, her videos like her makeup tutorials I've only watched her video with Mikey um, so I'm kind of excited to see the look yeah so here's how it works I watched the video with a headphone in she's not allowed to look at the screen or hear the voice and I have to try to tell her how to make it look like what's going on, on my screen and after the fact I'll try and insert the clips to the video in here but it will be linked down below so that you can watch the whole tutorial yourself yeah, so this ought to get good because I am not, I'm not very patient when it comes to this stuff. And I'm not a makeup artist, so. And it takes her forever to do her makeup, so. Yeah. So here we go. Let's do this. All right, you let's ready? go. I guess so. Okay, I need to do like this first. So, well, you're starting to watch the video. I'm gonna go look at my beauty blender. I'm already ready to go. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here we go. You ready? I'm ready. You're not ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to take your foundation. Okay. And you're going to make like whoop whoops everywhere all over your face. Like choo choo choo. The foundation or the concealer? The concealer. Do I need to put primer on first? Yeah, you can. He kind of gave me a heads up of some of the things I would need so that I wasn't hunting and searching for everything during the video, which helps me out a lot. Yeah, we got all the colors pretty much ready, I think. And he told me the general products I would need. Now, I don't have any of the same products that Nikki has, obviously, because I don't do makeup very often. Right, but you got stuff that's close enough to the color probably so yeah we're, we're, we'll try we'll see how that goes i'm just using the elf poreless primer to prime my whole face so what else did you say about this video that was exciting oh it's called flawless fall slash halloween makeup transformation so I figured if I'm going to be doing a makeup video with her, it has to at least say Halloween in it. I mean, come on. Uh, for a couple seconds? No, just, just throw it on. It doesn't work the same if I don't leave it dry for a few seconds. I did find a concealer that I like so far. If there's any other recommendations, I'll try them. But I found the e.l.f. 16 hour camo and it's in the color fair beige is literally the lightest color that i could find in a concealer because i'm so pale and it does cover so where all did she put it everywhere like everywhere yeah okay even on your forehead like covering the whole face yeah she did like w's like w's yeah like <laughs> but it was a lot bigger but 
after the video, it looked like her face was really heavy because look at she put a pound of makeup on it. Yeah, that's gonna be my only like major concern is I don't usually do a whole lot of makeup. She says in the video that like she is caking it on, so caking it on? Yeah, she put a ton on. I don't like the idea of caking makeup on. Oh no. Oh eyeshadow down. And now you're gonna do concealer. You mean foundation? She said concealer. Okay, but I did my concealer first. Okay, then you're gonna do foundation. Was I supposed to do my foundation first and then my concealer? I don't know. Just do foundation. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't think he has any idea like what he's talking about. We'll, we'll get through this. She, she put some on her forehead. Okay. A little bit on her chin. Um, a little bit on her cheeks, right below her eyes. Yeah, this was definitely supposed to be what my concealer was for. And then she put a dot on her nose. Because I bet her concealer was to work as her highlighter. No, the highlighter goes on later. Okay. Again, he has. I, I don't. Like, I feel like I have a little bit of an idea about makeup. Like, I'm not completely in the dark. But for the most part, um, I'm not just, like, not good at certain things. I use a unique foundation, so it like turns into a powder from a liquid, not what Nikki would use. Okay. Okay, now she used a setting powder next. Okay. Which? I can do that. Now on the camera guys, it looks like a yellow, like a zombie color I would use on yellow. That's what the color it is. It's <laughs> translucent. Yeah. My lighting is terrible. This is not a good makeup light. No, we got we got to figure all that out as we go here, because there's gonna be a lot of makeup videos coming your way. She did her brows off camera, um, but all she did was fill them in and made them darker brown. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> So they kind of come up, go down, and it just like extends out a little bit. But I mean, it's pretty much the same shape as yours. It's just a little bit thicker. On... So can I do a promo on your video? I don't care. All right, guys. While she's doing this, look, I got the Paul's shirt on. We love our Paul's clothes. You guys can go to Paul's.com. P-A-W-Z.com. The money goes to help like homeless animals and animal shelters and stuff. So it's well worth the money. And they got some really cool stuff. And we're not sponsored by Paul's. I just love their stuff and we uh, support it big time. It's pretty much all I wore at the beach if you watch our beach video. Okay. I never do my eyebrows. Okay, now she puts a primer on her eyelids and she uses a dry blender to bounce it in. Eyeshadow primer? Yeah. Okay, I don't have an eyeshadow primer, but I have a unique primer that I can put on my eyelids. I still need but. Okay, now you're gonna take a light brown and a um like a smaller brush. A light brown. Yeah, a light brown. I need those. Like that one. So are you saying this one? Yeah. Like a light brown. Okay. And you're gonna need a smaller brush. No, 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 no. Kind of one like this. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a wing, but you're just on the outline. So you're gonna come out, 
and she kept it pretty much level with her eyelash or her eyebrow. Where like the point lined is. with her eyebrow. Yeah. So like the point would come to here. Yeah, but it's gonna come off the corner of your eye. Like up here. Right to there, and then you're gonna go around the top of your eyelid with it too, from the corner of your eye the whole way around the top. So all, all we did pretty much is just gave her a basic line, like a, I guess kind of like a stencil. Now my special effect is coming out, but we just went with a, a line with a wing. And we're just going to do both eyes as we go. Um, Nikki did one eye and then the other, did the other eye off camera, but we're just getting both knocked out here. We got time. Okay, now you're going to take like um, that black brush laying there. This one? Yeah. And you're gonna go with like a darker color. Either this one or this one. Okay, so like this one he said. Or yeah. this dark red. Huh? It's like a dark reddish brown or this one. Yeah, go with that brown. This one? Yeah. Okay, what am I doing with this one? You're gonna work it into the crease. It's like really thick. Yeah, but you're gonna go all the way over to the corner. Okay. Yep. These are really pigmented. Yeah, they are. Like, I really like them. I got these at Burlington and I wasn't real sure. We kind of thought it would be good for the haunted house. Now, the only thing I can say is the wing comes out a little bit more and it goes into a point. With this color? With yeah. the first color? Yeah. definitely don't match but okay more to more of a point more of a point yeah that looks good better yeah okay she's still venting and, and blending her brown dark in oh. maybe mine needs blend down a little bit I don't know I never know how much to blend like I never know what looks good enough Then she takes like this one. Okay. And um a smaller brush again. Like this? Yeah. 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 Like and she just one? yeah, and she carves out the lid. What's that mean? So all she does is like shuts her eye and then just like your lid gets uh, that color. Okay. Like down Kind of by your eyelashes. Like this little part of it. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. good. Like I'm starting to see how these colors work together, even though I've never done anything like this before. It kind of makes sense now. Is that enough, or does it need more? No, that's good. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take um, the dark brown again. Okay. And you're going to go from your point to like halfway on your eyelid. So you're going point? This point over here to like halfway. Like fill the whole point in? No, just like from the corner of your eye to like just your eyelid, but you're only doing half your eyelid. Like that? But you're going all the way down your eyelashes. Yep. You can come out and hit your, um, yeah, hit your wing because the color that we start off with is really light. I never thought to do that before. That's why I always felt so messy. Like I never even realized that in order to wing eyeliner, you had to connect it to the bottom. It like would float there, and I'm like, why does that not line up? Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna take your gold pencil. I have one of those. It's unique. Okay. Okay, you're gonna go from the corner of your eye. You're gonna stay just like, you're not gonna go on the outside of your wing. You're gonna go just above the 
make up itself. You're gonna go from the corner and you're gonna trace your wing, but you're gonna stay above it. Like below it, you mean? No, above, above it. Above it. Like there? Yeah, and then you're gonna go the whole way around your crease and connect it. Like that? Like through? Yep, just like that. Oh, I've never done anything like that before. She told me not to pick a basic video, but she said don't go crazy and make me like, I, I, I didn't challenge her big time on this one, I thought this one here was kind of medium. I don't know how well you can see that. You got your gold wing, your gold outline. Yeah. Now you're going to take a, a small brush again and okay. you're going to hit this gold right here, take that glitter right there. Okay. Or even, um, let me see. Probably go with this lighter one. This one? Yeah. That's not really a gold, but okay. Well, it's just for glitter. Just a tiny. Well, I did get a gold glitter. Let's see what okay. it does. So this is the glitter. The really gold glitter. Okay, where am I putting this? You're just going to go over the gold streak you put in it to really pop the glitter out. Oh, okay. Look at that glitter! <laughs> oh, look at that in the camera! Mmm! Alright, glitter's on. Now what? Okay, now you're gonna take your dark brown again, and you're gonna go under your eye. Under my eye? Yep. I probably shouldn't put a whole lot on this brush. I should just use the excess, I'm thinking, because then it won't be super, super. Right. Okay, now she did her fake eyelashes and mascara, so... I'm not doing lashes, I'm just gonna opt for mascara because I do like my mascara. Why? Mascara. Do your uppers and your lowers. Okay, I usually do that anyway. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna use a big brush and put bronzer on your cheeks and your forehead. Okay, so now bronzer's done, my eyes are done, I didn't do lashes. Okay, so all you gotta do now is take, like, she used like a dark burgundy reddish on her lips. So, so I went with there you go. deep purple color. Oh! Okay, and now all she did was put glitter on top of that then. Okay, I can do that too. It's not real super shiny glitter, but it's glitter. Right? It's not, I mean, I could always use a little practice, but what do you think? That's what the final result is. It's kind of blurry, so we'll, we'll put the picture in the video, but. But, I don't know, what do you think? I think it was close for like having somebody tell you. Yeah, and you didn't do too bad at explaining either. I'm pretty impressed. So as I'm like watching this and realizing like I could have I stayed a little bit lighter on the inside, 
her glitter was a little bit different. Um, obviously, I can use some more practice, but overall, not too shabby. Not too bad at all. Yeah, it was fun. So if you guys like this and want to see more, comment below. Um, this was fun. It was awesome. Smash the like button. Subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. So yep. You know whenever we post videos. But we need more ideas, so leave them in the comments. Yep. Thanks for watching. <laughs>